something that I noticed, um, and this has to do with um, CSG, which already right off the bat is confusing. You have to take a pause and say CSG, SGC. I mean, it's the same three letters, right? Um, last year, when we were doing our podcast, I remember you know, looking at – it does check out, right? CSG, when they came into the hobby, I remember reading articles about them. And they were doing, and you know, we even spoke with them. They were doing um, uh, subgrades. And basically, it looked like from afar that, and again, I don't work for CSG. This is just an outside observation that a year ago when they came into the fray, a little more than a year, they looked at the hobby, said, all right, PSA is doing their thing. They are the 800-pound gorilla in the room. We're not going to topple PSA. But let's go for the number two crown. Let's go for the number two spot. And it looks like they took a lot of pages from, um, from the, um, the, the Beckett playbook, right? It looked like they, you see, was, they came out with the four subgrades, you know, the, the same way that Beckett had it, and a number on the right side of their grade. It makes sense because they took, um, you know, they started their, their grading off with two Beckett graders. Um, I think SGC's top, uh, I, um, you know, Reeves, I think was one of them. And, you know, there's another, another guy, um, who they took over. So, you know, it makes sense, right. That, that, you know, CSG would kind of look at Beckett at the time and say, all right, let's, you know, let's kind of model ourselves after this and kind of go after the number two in the hobby. Um, maybe I'm reading into this a little bit, but in the last, you know, month, CSG announced sweeping changes, to what they were doing, okay? And those changes included basically a, a, a getting rid of their algorithm, getting rid of their subgrades, and just going to a straight grade, right? And two, I guess more importantly, switching their label to a black and white style label. So it now looks like, and again, I'm not in their boardroom, but it looks like CSG has pivoted and maybe if you read into this a little bit that in their, in their, in their meetings, they're saying, all right, well, our goal was to go after number two. That's no longer Beckett. It's SGC. And I I know people say imitation is the, you know, the most sincere form of flattery, but if you look at the label that CSG came out with, it is a very similar elongated version, I believe, very similar to what SGC uses. The number grade on the right, their company name, CSG, very similar to SGC in the top left, right? Uh, a cert on it, no more subgrades. I mean, you know, and to come out with black and white, I mean, SGC, basically, they've, they've branded black. You know, they're, they're, they're so much so that, you know, they... they they are affectionately known as like the tuxedo, right? You know, they, they're, they're, it's tuxedo time, right? You know, hey, look, tuxedo time, right? So it just, I find it odd of all the colors in the rainbow. They were green, right? Why scrap it? That CSG was green, right? They, that was their color. That was their label. That was Why scrap it and go to a black and white label that looks pretty similar to SGC? Now, if I'm SGC, maybe I take this as a compliment, you know, maybe I look at this and say, okay, you know, these guys, they thought Beckett was number two, so they went and imitated that. They, they have some Beckett graders. They made a Beckett label. They did the subgrades. Well, clearly they're now saying we're number two. If you take it a step, you know, further than that, how do you just switch your grading overnight? Don't you have to, like, retrain your graders? It's like, okay, the algorithm that we had yesterday is gone. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the, the, the way we were calculating the overall grade based on the subgrades, yeah, just take that and throw it out the window and let's, uh, let's just keep grading. Uh, let's just keep grading, but uh, it's a completely different thing now. So anyway, it's just, it's something I noticed. Um, you know, it's difficult to do it kind of in an audio podcast, but I would, I would ask you guys, I want your feedback on this, guys. You know, because it's easy to just go out, hey, we've revamped and we've put our new label out there. Maybe we'll put a post up and see what you think, Right. Because when I saw the new CSG label, I thought of one thing and one thing only. I said, this is McDowell's. McDowell's is not McDonald's. You know, it's 8507 Queens Boulevard. They got the Golden Arches. We got the Golden Arch. They got the Big Mac. We got the Big Mick. We both have 
two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions. But theirs is on a sesame seed bun. McDowell's has no seeds on their buns.